Good morning, everyone. This is Eric Magidson, CIS instructor at Central Oregon Community College. Today we're going to talk about Lesson 12 of the Wiley Publishing's Microsoft Official Academic Course for Microsoft Office Word 2007. This prepares you for Exam 77601. That's the Microsoft Certified Application Specialist Exam for Word 2007. So as I mentioned, today we're going to talk about Lesson 12, Adding Navigation Tools to a Document. So going right by the text, it asked me to open up the Lucerne Publishing document, which I have right here. And I'm going to start by creating bookmarks. So your first question might be, what the heck is a bookmark? And a bookmark is an item that can be used to identify locations within a document. This enables users to locate important information more quickly just as readers use bookmarks to save places within books, word bookmarks are used to indicate locations within a document. So, the first thing we need to do is create some bookmarks. It asks us to highlight the author's name, which I'm going to do. I'm going to come up to Insert and Bookmark. So it's under the Insert tab, Bookmark. It's going to bring up the Bookmark dialog box. And this first bookmark I'm going to call Author. So I'll add that bookmark. The next bookmark that it wants me to add is it wants me to go down to the first sentence in section 1C. So there's 1C right there. It wants me to highlight 17 USC to 11B. Create another bookmark. Notice I'm still on the bookmark page. So I'll create another bookmark. This bookmark is going to be called Provisions. And I'll add it. We're going to do just two more bookmarks here. So in Heading 4, under Amendments, let's go find that. Heading 4, under Amendments, it wants me to select the entire Amendments text, which I'm going to do. Notice that I have my, I've turned on my Show Hide Paragraph Marks, so I can see where paragraphs start and end. I'm going to insert again, going to insert a bookmark. This bookmark is going to be called Amendments, and I'll add that. Finally, the last bookmark, we're going to go down to the signature file, which is right there, in Witness uh, Whereof. It asks me to click right in front of the signature, so we're going to create a bookmark right in front of there. Insert, this one will be called Signatures, and we'll add that. So, now if you notice, the document is yet showing our bookmarks, so let's see how we turn on uh, bookmarks so that we can see where our bookmarks are within the document. The easiest way to do that is to come up here to the Microsoft Office button. We're going to go to Word Options. We're going to go to the Advanced Word Options. And we're going to scroll down till we find Show Document Content. Notice that by default the Show Bookmarks is not turned on. So we're going to click it. We're going to say OK. And notice now, here's one of my bookmarks here another one here. Notice this is content as well as right here and finally our last one right there. There's our bookmarks. So let's see how we then use bookmarks. So we've turned on the bookmarks we can see where they are. Again this is a small document so there's not much we're working with here. But let's say I wanted to find one of those bookmarks. Well the easiest way is to come back up to the insert tab two bookmarks. It's going to open up our bookmark dialog box. This time I'm going to select provisions and go to. And notice as I select provisions, click go to, there it is. There's our bookmark right there. This way we can go ahead. I can close this. I've got the bookmark. Let me make a change to the bookmark. 106A following the book. And we can see that easily we can change content within a document. So you might be asking what makes bookmarks useful, and one of the biggest uses in bookmarks is the ability to cross-reference a bookmark. So let's go look at it. I'm going to go down and select another bookmark. I'm going to select Signatures and Go To. So Signatures, Go To. There's my bookmark right there. I'm going to close this real quick, and we can see that I'm in the Signatures. Okay. I'm going to come down here a little bit and click right below Author. Okay. 
Then, instead of bookmark, I'm going to do a cross-reference. But what I'm going to reference is the bookmark, bookmark text, and the author. Okay, so the reference type was my bookmark. It brought up the, my bookmarks, bookmark text, author, and I'm going to say insert. Notice how it inserted the author here. I'm going to close that. Let me come up here just a bit. I'm going to hit the control key. wonder where this came from, the control key and click. Notice how that's a link to within the document and click and look, it takes me right back up to the author bookmark within my document. Let's say you're done with a bookmark and you're ready to delete a bookmark. Well, that's just as easy. All we have to do is come up to the insert tab, bookmarks, we'll open up our bookmarks dialog box here. And let's go ahead and delete amendments. So I'm going to choose amendments and say delete. That bookmark is now gone from my document. I'm going to choose signatures and delete that bookmark is gone from my document. Now, just real quick, remember that if we were to delete the author bookmark, the cross-reference would no longer work in the document. So keep that in mind, all right? So we're going to close that. So we've looked at adding bookmarks, how to cross-reference a bookmark. Notice by cross-referencing, if I change the author's name here, it changes at the bottom of the document. This becomes real handy with long documents where you have to make a lot of continuous changes to say a new client name or whatever the case may be. So we'll take a look at one more thing here. And that last way to navigate a document is to create a document map. So instead of bookmarks, we can actually use the styles right here to create a document map. So let's look at how we do that. We're going to go to the View tab right up here, View tab. I'm going to select Document Map. That's going to open up my document map here. But because we haven't selected any styles, we're not seeing anything. So let's do that. Let's select this word right here. Okay. Let's go back to the Home tab. We're going to choose a style. The style I want is not here, so I'm going to do this. And I'm going to call this a Heading 2 Style. Next, I'm going to choose uh, our numbered list here, Title and Copyright Assignment. Come down, I'll make that a Heading 3. Notice as I do that, it's added to my document map. Let me go down and do some more of those here. Let's find the next one. Here's number two, author's warranty. Let me make that a heading three. Come down, trade secrets, heading three. What else do we have? Ah, there's a, amendments, heading three. And finally, construct and binding effects, heading three. So there's my headings, and notice as I click on the headings, it takes me to that section of the document. How easy is that? So that's it for this uh, lesson, Lesson 12. We will talk to you again. Have a good day.